it's allowed me to live independently. It's allowed me uh, not not to ever have lived in a a facility. I've lived in either uh, my own apartment or since 2003, I've been blessed to be able to own my own home. And then my wife was able to move out of a group home situation into a more independent situation. Um, and that was seen as a pilot project by um, many that were overseeing her. And that's lasted now, uh, well, 15 years. So um, we're proof of uh, what can happen with diligence and persistence, uh, you know, that independent living can be a reality for anybody that wants it. And I don't want to see that lost for any, for anyone that's currently doing it or anyone that's uh, younger than I and coming up in the future. Yes, it's allowed me to live independently and work, um, pay taxes, which everyone complains about. But when you're, per when you're a person like myself, who may, may not think they'll get the opportunity to do that, you know, it's a, it's a big deal to be able to, to do that and say, you know, this is what I accomplished in spite of these limitations that I have. And um, most taxpayers, you know, have a lot of respect for that. Even when I speak to conservatives, people that are more conservative than I, they have no problem paying taxes to keep me in my home. They'd rather see somebody like me working and making a contribution than paying for me to stay in a nursing home and do nothing and make no contribution. You know, call your congressman, call your senator, let them know your story. Let them know that what's proposed is uh, not just uh, a matter of dollars and cents on a piece of paper or a computer. Um, you're literally playing with, uh, with someone's uh, livelihood and in many cases, uh, health and safety of human lives. You know, uh, people with disabilities have made huge contributions to our communities and just deserve the right with the amount of support that they need to continue to do so.